my life before Christ was, I grew up and we were in middle class family. We didn't really have too much, you know, we had enough to get by. I had my hand-me-downs, pretty much every piece of clothing I ever had was my brother's or somebody else's. Um, went to church with my grandparents every Sunday. Grew up, uh, always felt like I needed something more. Um, played football my whole life was around God my whole life, just never truly accepted him yet. My journey to Christ definitely started whenever my mother had her first major heart attack. Um, I was at football practice, it was the middle of summer, we were one, running 110s, it was my ninth rep. I still remember it like it was yesterday. We just finished the rep, I uh, saw my football walk out on the field, and that's whenever he told my coach. So we went to the hospital as soon as I could, Got there, sat down, waited to see my mom, and that's wherever Coach Ward, you uh, came up, came up there. And you sat there back with my mom and made sure she was right with God. And of course, she said yes, and she was happy. And that was my first instance where I truly knew what I had to do and had to accept Christ as my Savior. And not even a month, probably. They figured out she had had a blood clot in her brain, and she got air medded to New Orleans. And again, I was at practice again. And so we drove all the way out there. By the time I got there, she already had the blood clot removed. We we're all sitting in the room with her talking to her. And uh, I remember because I have my speech impediment. So she couldn't talk that well because she just had the surgery and everything. And every single time I used to have my surgeries, she used to have to tell me, slow down, quit talking so fast. That's understanding. But she kept getting frustrated, and it made me think back to whatever she used to tell me. So I really, I sat down with her, and I, I helped her through that, like she used to help me. And so that night, I decided that Christ was my Savior. My freshman year of high school, uh, Coach Chad Ward came to my school as a football coach. He was O-line and D-line coach. He instantly got my attention. We, he became more of a friend than a coach to me. I loved every second with him playing for him. And he's a pastor and you know, he introduced me to the church and told me where he was and invited us all out to eat and hang out and use it as a, not only as a place of worship, but as a community for us as a young group. He didn't want us out messing around. He wanted to make sure we were having fun, but in the right way. So we all came, me and a lot of my friends, and we all joined in together and we all loved it. My decision to get baptized came this past August 11th. Uh, it had made officially a year since the last time I ever saw my mother in person. And I just really thought about it. And that was my first time really back at this church since everything had happened and I knew I was right with God but I hadn't announced it yet. Uh, baptism is the announcement of your faith, it's the announcement to show the world who you are and what you want to do with your life and I felt like I needed to make that announcement to fulfill not only what she wanted because of course I know it makes her happy but my promise to God, my promise to everybody around me to show who I am and that I want to walk with God. Uh, I really just want to say thank you to everyone who came. Um, it means a lot to show that y'all are all here for me. To show I have this much family in this one room really means something to me. And uh, I just want to invite y'all out and to come back. And if you're not right with God, you know, start working towards that because um, I know this is going to be one of the best decisions of my life and I can't wait to have this journey.